If the G1 single is running improperly or recovering at a slow rate, it is recommended to perform the bench test to help determine where the problem lies. Before starting the bench test, remove anything connected to the input or output fitting and make sure the filter screen is clean. Turn on the power to the G1 single. You should feel suction on the input port and airflow from the output port. If the machine sounds like it's running normally, you can proceed with the test. Connect a known good 4-foot recovery hose to the output fitting of the machine. Then connect a known good valve core removal tool to the other end of the hose. Close the valve on the VCRT, then turn the machine on. The machine should build internal pressure and shut off at approximately 550 PSI in roughly 60 seconds. Next, turn the machine off. While the machine is holding pressure, connect the other end of the VCRT to the input fitting while the tool's valve is still closed. Once the tool is connected, open the valve. The gauges should equalize and hold pressure. There may be a small drop in pressure when opening the valve because the pressure is equalizing within the new connection. After seeing that the gauges successfully hold pressure, the test is complete. Safely release the pressure by depressing the core in the access port of the VCRT. Finally, disconnect the hose and the valve core removal tool. If the machine pressures up quickly and holds pressure as described, then the recovery speed issues are likely caused by something other than the G1 single. Common causes are restrictions from valve cores and core depressors, quick disconnect style low loss fittings, or clogged filters. Liquid trapped in the system can also cause very slow recovery. If the machine did not reach the pressure cutoff in under a minute, the most common causes are worn valves, valve springs, or seals. The lack of suction at the input, or airflow at the output, also indicates worn valves and springs. Valve spring replacement is a simple repair and will take about 30 to 40 minutes with the KTG-166R kit and basic tools. You can also call or email Appian directly with any questions, and the results of this test can help us quickly identify any other issues both internal and external to your recovery machine.